If you are old enough to remember CDs, you may have seen this message on some of them. This note implied that digital is superior to analog and that CDs are capable of much more than LPs or cassettes if proper digital techniques were used. The Society of Professional Audio Recording Services created a three-letter classification system that described different steps of the audio production process with letter A indicating the use of analog equipment and letter D indicating the use of digital equipment. Here I have some CDs that show AAD, ADD and triple D sparse codes. This system worked well until someone decided to use a sparse code for cassettes. The customers were confused. It seemed that the labels themselves were confused too. This cassette reads DDA, where the third A implies that the mastering stage used analog equipment. But right here beside the mark it reads digitally recorded and mastered, which means that the third letter should be a D. A later release has fixed the discrepancy. I bet this confused customers even more who got used to seeing triple Ds on CDs only as the hallmark of digital quality. In 1987, American Multimedia Incorporated created digital audio analog duplication system that drastically improved the quality and consistency of pre-recorded cassettes by using a digital file instead of analog tape in the duplication machines. This quantum leap in manufacturing pre-recorded cassettes couldn't be reflected by sparse code because the sparse code covered only the stages of music production that occurred before manufacturing. It didn't tell whether the final product, an LP, cassette or CD, was analog or digital, and whether it was manufactured using analog or digital techniques. To inform customers about the new manufacturing technique and the improved quality, DAAD abbreviation was used on several cassette releases. Later, the technology became better known under its consumer-friendly name Digilog. I have several Digilog cassettes, here is the Tori Amos cassette, recorded in 1994. It's interesting uh, that they use Dolby S instead of Dolby B, quite rare. The other cassette is by Natalie Imbruglia, recorded in 1997. And this one is Digilog branded Skid Row cassette, which uses premium cobalt tape with Dolby B. So returning to the title of the video, was Triple D cassette a thing? Sure it was. Although the final product was an analog recording, all the preceding phases were done digitally, and this reflected in the audio quality. These tapes sound as good as a CD. It is ironic that the sparse system, originally designed to promote full digital audio production, has been repurposed by vinyl snobs. What's next? 78s and wax cylinders? I know, please subscribe to see my new videos and see you next time.